I'm Daniel Schrader, the Director of Product Marketing here at Fortinet for Cloud and Application Delivery, and I'm here to talk to you about securing your SAP landscapes with Fortinet. Now, every time I hear about another attack in SAP systems, I wonder what they're not telling us. When an SAP system is breached, it's a big deal. I'm talking about potentially life-changing, career-ending consequences. I'm talking about hacks that will cost billions of dollars in shareholder value. SAP represents the crown jewels of corporate information, and a security breach can have dire consequences, including the loss of customer information, financial data, product and roadmap information, sales and marketing plans, confidential employee information. Yeah, it is a big deal. Now, I'm not saying that SAP systems are insecure, at least no more insecure than Sys software from Microsoft, or Oracle, or IBM, or any other vendor for that matter. But SAP systems have a bullseye in their back, and the list of known vulnerabilities to a system seems to go on and on. Or rather, perhaps I should say they go on and up. We've seen a dramatic increase in the number of SAP-specific vulnerabilities. And though it's hard to cert for certain to say why it's the case, it's probably related to changes in the broader cybersecurity landscape, changes that include the professionalization of cybercrime with well-organized and well-financed criminal organizations. It also probably reflects the increased role of nation states in using cybercrime for industrial and economic gain. Think of China using the history of stealing industrial secrets. And it's a form of low-level, often under-the-radar, warfare. And of course, the increase in number and frequency of vulnerabilities is particularly troublesome for SAP admins because it's not trivial to update an SAP system. As I said, these systems are mission critical and administrators would far rather not touch those systems if they're working. And they need to test and validate these updates and the update process before they can go to production. Worse still, SAP security is focused primarily on identity and data security, not on network, or platform, or endpoint security. So SAP administrators aren't trained or empowered to worry about network security. And in turn, network admins don't know anything about SAP systems. What we're seeing isn't a product or technology failure. It's a process failure, a human failure. And human failures are often the cause of security breaches. Now, if we talk about SAP security for a moment, SAP does offer a wealth of tools and guidance for securing their systems. In fact, SAP security is a module that keeps certain kinds of data under lock and key while allowing access to others, working to ensure that your SAP system is secure from both external and internal threats. At least that's what they say. They divide security into four buckets, identity and access management, cloud identity services, secure development, and risk and compliance. So the first of those two systems are all about identity and access control. Then you've got secure coding practices and some risk and compliance tools. Now, I should mention that SAP Enterprise Threat Detector, a security information and event management system, a SIM, is also available from SAP to ingest security events, and it offers long correlation and threat detection of SAP-specific attacks and security forensics, which is great. So you want to ask yourself, that's a lot of security technology. What's missing? Well, that's really the wrong question. The question is, what isn't missing? Where's the next generation firewall, the web application firewall? Where's the sandboxing of malware detection, the detection of zero day threats? Where are the tools for building a zero trust architecture? What about data loss prevention, botnet protection, cloud security posture management, vulnerability scanning, endpoint security? Most importantly, Where's the threat intelligence? Where are the smart men and women in lab coats using AI and machine learning and a vast sensor network to identify the latest threats and make sure they're being protected against? Point is that while SAP is a great software, they are not and will never be a security company. Security is up to you, and that's a big job. Now, SAP assumes that you have network security, endpoint security, application security, and platform security all covered. But even if you have those elements in place, are they really covering your SAP system? You see, you can't just dump a standard firewall in front of an SAP landscape and assume that you're protected. Securing SAP deployments requires application awareness, that is, visibility into and the ability to apply security and networking policies to SAP-specific protocols. It requires the ability to scan and protect what enters and leaves your environment, north-south protection, but also east-west network security so you can segment your applications and data and prevent breach universals. Now, sometimes the best defense is a good offense. So tools like honeypots, reconnaissance detection, provide an offensive element to security by luring attackers into false networks and analyzing the attack chain. But you can't use any honeypot technology. 
you require SAP-specific decoys and alerts, and those honeypot systems shouldn't stand alone. It should be part of a well-thought-out security fabric, so that once an attack is identified, the rest of the security pot fabric's policies can be automatically updated to remediate the threat. Securing your SAP landscapes is complex. You shouldn't have to make it up as you go along. Instead, you need access to tested and validated security architectures. And finally, to secure SAP, you need a security fabric, a fabric that allows you to bring all of your security events from all your security elements into one common place. But more, it allows you to automate actions and remediations against threats across clouds and data centers so that you can offer the same level of security managed by the same people using the same security tools wherever the compute occurs. Fortinet offers a security fabric platform built on a cybersecurity mesh architecture. Similar to what Gartner announced recently, an architectural approach to create a collaborative uh, ecosystem of security tools operating beyond the traditional perimeter. That is a mouthful. The point is it provides a suite of -of best-of-breed solutions organically built from the ground up to work together to provide the best integrated security solution in the industry. Now, when we talk about SAP security, Fortinet has... 50-something products, maybe 20 of which have SAP-specific integrations, it would be impossible in one webinar to go through all of them. Instead, let's look at some key use cases. Use cases for network security, application security, for building a zero-trust architecture, for building a secure operations infrastructure, for securing um, RISE with SAP. All these are sort of the key places to start your securing SAP journey. Fortinet offers an overall architecture employing multiple products for securing SAP. If we look at each one of these, why don't we start with securing SAP enterprise landscapes or network security. For network security, you don't need the full range of our solutions. Instead, we're talking about FortiGate in front of your SAP landscapes and perhaps Forti clients and the endpoints. If you have branch locations, you might want to have FortiGate in each one of those branches to provide endpoint security and help you build a secure SD-WAN. The important thing here is that you can't use any firewall. Instead, you need an SAP application-aware next-generation firewall, one of the ability to read and secure SAP protocols such as SAP Diag, SAP RFC, SAP SNC, SAP HANA, Messenger Server, Router, Web Dispatcher. Your firewall needs the ability to identify when SAP is dynamically opening up or closing ports so it can automatically apply security policies to that traffic. And of course, as I mentioned before, patching an SAP system isn't easy. Instead, you need a network firewall able to do virtual patching that is using intrusion prevention systems to block attacks aimed at vulnerabilities that you haven't yet patched. For application security and availability, you could simply run FortiWeb to protect your web-based applications and API gateways from known and unknown attacks, perhaps using Forti Sandbox for improved malware detection. Another option, though, would be replacing SAP's Web Dispatcher, which is a fairly limited ADC, with a much more powerful and sophisticated Forti ADC. Forti ADC is the most secure application delivery controller, load balancer on the market. It has a built-in SAP connector so that it can communicate with the SAP Messenger server so it automatically is informed when SAP instances are spun up or spun down and can automatically apply security policies. Better still, 4080C is a robust security appliance. It not only does global and local load balancing and link load balancing and the like, it also provides DDoS protection, a web application firewall, intrusion prevention, web filtering, malware detection, a layer 4 firewall, geo protection, malware protection, and more. You've been hearing about zero trust if you've been awake at all to security concerns over the past few years. Zero trust is an approach that ensures that no one inside or outside of your network should be trusted unless they and their devices have been vetted and their identification and their devices have been thoroughly checked. So install FortiClient on client devices and the FortiClient Enterprise Management Server to work with FortiGates or with FortiADC to enforce zero trust policies. The client not only secures the endpoints and provides VPN services, it also evaluates the security status of your endpoint, enforcing security policies, and provides a secure certificate needed to enforce zero trust policies. Other Fortinet solutions that can be part of your zero trust architecture include Forti Token for multi-factor authentication, Forti Authenticator, and Forti Sassy. For your security teams, Fortinet provides a host of tools for tracking and managing your security landscape. 
course, clouds, data centers. Fortinet can help you build or enhance your SAP Security Operations Center, your SOC. Fortinet's AI-driven security operations portfolio provides advanced threat detection response capabilities as well as dashboards for tracking your threat landscape. For example, FortiSource SAP Connector can retrieve alerts from Enterprise Threat Detector, and FortiSource SAP RFC Connector can call on any remote function call, retrieve any input field to perform automated operations. Or FortiSim can access and parse SAP EDT logs and course correlate security events, not just those that are aimed at SAP, but for all the security events. So you can see, for example, if key users of your SAP systems have been targeted by phishing attacks, or if users of your SAP landscapes are acting in suspicious ways. Finally, we get to Rise with SAP. Now, Rise with SAP is a great tool for accelerating your SAP migration. But just because SAP is managing those SAP servers, it doesn't mean they're necessarily secured. Even SAP can't patch those systems multiple times a day, and that's something you need to do when multiple vulnerabilities are happening every day. So use FortiGate to secure access to your SAP instances, and use FortiWeb or FortiADC to secure those SAP instances against threats and unpatched vulnerabilities. You could also utilize 40 CNP to integrate Fortinet Security Insights with network and security data from cloud native platforms like Google Cloud, AWS, or, or Microsoft Azure to identify threats, misconfigurations, and compliance issues. So that gives you a feeling for how Fortinet can help you secure your SAP landscapes. Please reach out to us if you have any questions or help for securing your SAP migrations. Thank you.